It's your friendly, eager, spontaneous, easy speak support here to show you how to edit the easy speak times on the agenda. I've already opened the agenda and I'm in the edit mode because I clicked on the, where else have I got that? Let me see. I clicked on, whoops, let me just go back. So here, I clicked on the agenda edit here and I got to the edit mode. And then when you open an item to edit it, I was already in there. Okay, I'm on the second item now. I've already changed this one here to add the times. It's The duration has already been given here, five minutes to open for the presiding officer to open the meeting. So I have now added these times four for green, 4.30 for amber, five for red. You can still edit that as you like when you've got this access, just by clicking on the pen here to change the times there. And since we want to manage the time, when you've put that in there, then the time will show on the agenda here. So this previously was blank. This had no nothing here. It only had the speeches, five, six, seven minutes for the timer to note and the starting time here. And now we've got four minutes 4.35 minutes for green, amber, red. So that's the guide for the timekeeper showing on the agenda now. And what I'm going to do is go through all the agenda items. The second one describes program by Toastmaster of the day. Now here you have the event. You can still change, even edit that. And the role is a drop down to select who, who does it, right? And here again, the times. Now, the duration was already given here, two minutes. Therefore, the red I would put at two minutes, which still means you want to give 30 seconds leeway. Or if you want to be strict, you put one minute, 30 seconds, so that the 30 seconds leeway is already the, the end of the duration given the two minutes. But I'll go here one minute, one thirty, and two minutes for the describing the program by the Toastmaster of the day. Now here, print this item on the summary agenda. It's on there already, but the start time was set to no, which is why on the agenda, we only had the beginning of the meeting and all of the rest has been set to no. I've edited this agenda so many times, but. I believe always on the 1st of July it defaults back or maybe I know one time Vicky deleted all of the agendas that I had edited and uh, I don't know where we stand now whether it's a default on the 1st of July or somebody's work but I'm here to help so now I'm going to say print the start time for this item yes and then you will see according to the timing here of the duration what time we expect to start this particular item on the agenda. And I'm going to go through and do that on every item on the agenda. Then we will have a running list of the times. And I'll also add the times in here and then you will have the times for the timekeeper. You have the option if you want to re redo it, you can edit it for a detail agenda only. And the print spacer after this line, I used to put it in under the three sections of the meeting, but I'll, describing the program, uh, I won't put it yet. So I'll update here and go to the next item, introduces evaluation team, and that's done by the general evaluator. We've given them five minutes. So I'll give them green at four minutes, amber at four and a half, and red at five. And as I said, if you want to change that, you're welcome. I'm just showing you here how. And print this item on the summary agenda. It's already yes. Print the start time for this agenda was set to no. I'm changing to yes. You can change that to detail agenda only if you don't want to have 
all of the times on the agenda, which currently, okay, I haven't updated here. In fact, I'm not sure whether it's updated at all. So we'll have another look here and see what it does. Okay, so it's added here, the time after five minutes for the presiding officer, the Toastmaster of the day, timed to start at 12.20 for two minutes with the green, amber and red at 1, 1.30 in two minutes. Got that? So I'll continue. And the evaluation team, still not yet, update. And the next one, word of the day. And we've given two minutes, so I'll give one minute. One minute, 30 seconds. Two minutes. And, okay, it's got here detail agenda only. I'm going to put it on here so that it's there. And update. And now I'm going to print a spacer here because that's the end of the first part. This this meeting doesn't have an executive section in it, but it's the beginning of the first part of the Toastmaster of the day actually introducing the first speaker. So I'm going to print a spacer here and update. Do you want to see that again? Okay. Then we'll go back here again and update our agenda and have a look what it's telling us now and it's showing us okay all of these times are here these times are here and this is the separation from the opening of the meeting to the first speech okay got that so i'm just going to run through the rest you can watch now or just fast forward and i'll continue doing it and this is one minute so i'll go 30 seconds, 45, and red at one minute. And print the start time, yes. Update. And the first speaker speaks with their speech. Five, six, seven minutes. Print the start time, yes. Update. Written feedback. Read at one minute. That's already on the agenda there. That's enough. And print the start time, yes. Update. Next, introduces second speaker. One minute. Red, I'll just put that on there, duration one minute. And print the start time, yes. Update. And this duration is eight minutes. This was, okay, the speaker speaking. So six, seven, eight. Actually, this is usually seven minutes. The second speaker is usually five, six, seven. Five, six, seven. Duration, seven minutes for a normal speech. And print the time and update. Then we still have the backup speaker, written feedback. I haven't got, uh, yes, yes, no. I think this is still a no. Duration, one minute, read, written speak. Okay. Yes, yes, print the start time. Uh, uh, yes, update. Okay. And now backup speaker, seven minutes, five, six, seven, seven minutes, print the start time. Yes update now here i'm going to do another spacer you can delete that if you don't like it you just come back here into editing the item and say no okay update do you want to see that again that means that we have another line after the speeches before the table topics Right now, if you also want it, this is one minute, one minute, one minute. 
if you want to have the 30 seconds, 45 seconds in introducing the speaker or giving feedback, you can still add that if you want. Like here, the introduces first speaker. I think that's superfluous to say you've got 15 seconds, 30 seconds left. If one minute is probably enough. You can delete those two. And same here, written feedback to speaker, one minute. And then the table topics. I've put this line here. You can delete it if you don't like it. Okie dokie. So now I'm on table topics. Concludes prepared speech portion. Oh, okay. Maybe that should have been um, there. Written feedback. Looks like it was not on the, not to be shown. Let me see here. Um, print this item on the summary agenda. No. Aha. So this item written feedback toastmaster of the day uh one minute I'm, I'm a bit confused here i don't know why that is there or what it is it's for one minute i'm going to leave that and just return to the agenda and you can decide what you want to do with that and you can see what the status is here whether to print or not these are the times so red uh, yellow green yellow red or what parts to print. Yeah. So now I'm on table topics. I'm going to see this NNN means it's not printed on the agenda at all. Concludes prepared speech portion of meeting introduces table topics section. So the topics master says impromptu speeches, one to two minutes per speaker. So the speaker gets one minute green that means they've reached their limit and they can stop talking amber is one minute 30 and that's important for the table topics and after two minutes they've got a 30 second grace period and this duration is actually for the total table topics section so here is um, the time is given for the, um, I've just added that, which has to be clear that that is for each speaker, because it says here one to two minutes per speaker, and the duration is 15 minutes. So I would also add the start time for this item, and it's already on the summary. And if you want to separate now the table topics from the evaluations, here is where you can print another spacer here by clicking yes. Okay, update. So that was table topics. Now vote for the best table topic speaker. One minute, I would do red at one minute to show and print the time and update. And hands over to general evaluator. We've got one minute for that. Just to stay with it, that we're saying with the timer is working in cooperation with the Toastmaster. So put the times on everywhere and let the timekeeper know to show the red flag at one minute. Okie dokie. Hope that's all clear for you now. So the table topics vote for best table topics opens evaluation session. So this is one minute. So we'll do a red at one minute and show the time and update. Okay. And then evaluates and here the evaluator, the first evaluator has two minutes, 2.30, three minutes, and print the start time, update. And the second evaluator, same thing, print the time, update. And the next bit is the general evaluator, three minutes, re red, three, print the start time, yes, update. Reports on the use of language, that's grammarian. If they've got three minutes, I would at least give them a red at three minutes. You can decide if you want to give them yellow and green as well. Print the start time, update. 
and you'll know throughout the meeting where you stand, okay? And timing, timekeeper. So give them a red flag at two minutes and show them the start time. And number of ums and ahs. And two minutes are red and show the time, update. And timing, ums, winner of the table topics. Take only one minute for that. So I'll show you a red flag and I'll give you a start time. And evaluate the entire meeting. General evaluator has six minutes. I'm just adding the six. Perhaps it would be helpful to have the five and four. And start time. And end session and hands over. Again, read two minutes, show the time, update, and presents table topics award. Eight minutes. Okay. We've given eight minutes to the presiding officer to close the meeting, update, and you can do whatever else you like. Use this agenda to create a new template named, what was this one called? Vic 2 speech standard plus video. Okay, let me. Um, okay, Vic 2 speech standard plus video. Vic 2 speech. Timings plus video. Okay, so it's exactly the same. I've just added all the times in there. All right, and make a new template. And that was from the cancelled meeting, so it has no effect on any meetings that we're going to have, but it should be available now in the agenda to select. So let me see if I go to... The next meeting, for example, um, normally the okay. I want to set. Did I save that? Okay, I want to save. You must select the template the wish to replace. Okay, no, I want to just go now to the next meeting. Let me see what it's going to do for me. What have I mucked up, or what's going to work on the twenty second? Oh, it's playing up. Doesn't like what I'm doing here. So I'm going to go all the way out and I'm going to stop recording and I'm going to check that myself and then I'll let you know. Okay. So um, stop recording, stop share and stop recording. Or maybe I should have just uh, paused my recording and then check. Okay. So just to update you now what I have done. Back to screen one. Now you have, I hope I shared all that. Oops. So here the um, option you have now is to change, to edit the agenda to Vic2 speech plus timings plus video. So I haven't changed any of the other templates. That's all still open. If you want me to do it, no problem. I can do it, but let me know. And um, the timings have only been added to this template that I created, a new template, instead of the Vic2 speech standard plus video. And I've added timings instead of standard. And this meeting in November was originally called a camera operator meeting. And it looked like this with the camera operator option, the name to, to add the name there, but the other times it's all out as well. So you need to decide what you want to do. And this is where you select the templates. When you go to your meeting and uh, this is one that didn't want to open. I don't know why. So we'll go a bit further.
so when you, you just edit the agenda up here by clicking on this edit the agenda and then you can select the different one but yeah when i wanted to edit the agenda here i had the warning you have 16 saved templates please delete any not regularly used to create new meetings so you need to think how many templates do you really need for the club and if you're going to add the times the whole time then you may as well delete the other one the standard meeting and just keep the one with the time okay so that's it from me now i'm going to stop the share and stop this video recording <laughs>